huge day on Capitol Hill. You're looking at live pictures from Capitol Hill, where lawmakers are expected to vote soon on President Biden's nearly $2 trillion spending package and $1 trillion infrastructure bill. It's been a long road to get to this point, and the expected vote comes after a major defeat for Democrats in the Virginia governor's race, a youngkin defeating Terry McAuliffe there. Joining us right now is Congressman Donald Norcross. He's a Democrat from New Jersey. We want to say thank you to, for joining us and good morning to you. Thanks for making time. Good morning, Adrian. Great to be back. Now, what are these final issues? Because obviously we've been seeing this uh, can kick down the road quite a bit as Democrats get together. Obviously, uh, Cinema and Mansion have been big holdouts of these proposal. But what is it going to take to move these uh, plans, uh, plans forward today? I think we need today to start, and uh, I think there is a path forward. Uh, we're working on the rule and a vote, very procedural, heavy issues. The bottom line is we're going to pass both of them, and I believe it's going to be today. What is the most exciting part of these plans for you? I know you've been a big proponent of child care for American families, oh, yeah. but for you, I mean, the cost has been so heavily debated, but uh, in your mind, is there any cost that is too much to have some of these measures actually passed? Well, if you're a mom trying to get back to work and you can't find child care, or if you can find it, you can't afford it, cost is nothing at that point. You want to make sure your child is in a safe, nurturing place. And unfortunately, that isn't the way it is today. I was a single dad. I will tell you, it was tough. I literally was waiting at the door for them to open because if they didn't open, I wouldn't have a job. So it's like asking you, which child do you love the most? I love all my kids. I think we have so many good things in both of these packages. We're going to fix the roads. We're going to fix the bridges. But we're also going to fix child care. We're going to make sure that if you have a parent at home who needs help, that they're going to get it. These are the things we needed so bad. Um, and you take a look at some of the climate issues that are out there. We're going to make the largest investment in the history of this country. And in New Jersey, we're building the largest offshore wind in the country. Those are the things we can start to look forward to. All right. Well, we do know that some of these are plans, uh, rather the first plan, cut down basically in half. Uh, we know that the House has returned some of the original language initially struck from the plan in those cost-saving measures, including 401k and IRA uh, restrictions on the rich. Can we expect to see anything else added back into this plan to make it something that all Democrats can agree on? The framework is there. There are some details that were being worked out late last night, as I'm sure you all heard. Uh, the SALT uh, tax deduction, which absolutely crushed uh, states in the Northeast in particular is back in because it was there before. It was one of the oldest and most important things, particularly for those states. That's back in. We have the family uh, leave. That's back in. So I think we really have brought everybody together here. Uh, there are things that were aspirational that we certainly want and we'll continue to work for. But for today, this is unbelievable how much is going into this. This is going to make a material difference for every man, woman, and child in this country. Do you think that there are any good points that you could agree with your colleague, uh, Senator Manchin, on about why this bill isn't quite right yet to be voted on? Well, let us first take a look at nothing in life is perfect. And this is not the last bill we're ever going to pass. I can't tell you how many good things are in there, but I have all the time. If you're going to college, the Pell Grant's being increased. Healthcare, prescription drug prices for the first time will be negotiated to lower those. Hearing benefits, that's in there. So these are things that Senator Manchin believes in. So let's not focus on what he does want. Let's focus on the unprecedented items that I just talked about that haven't been here. And I understand people are very concerned. So are we. You know, 
those are the same people who didn't want to spend any money during the pandemic. Well, there's a lot of money to be spent, and a lot of people are concerned with just throwing money at uh, social ills and, and numerous problems that this country has. Before we let you go, I have to ask you a question about uh, the uh, conversations that are being had in the Democratic Party, especially in light of the results of the major election in Virginia with Youngkin defeating uh, Terry McAuliffe. Is there a sense that maybe the Democratic Party needs to have more conversations with everyday people? people to find out exactly what it is they want in terms of education, in terms of mask mandates, in terms of what is being taught in schools across the country? Well, that happens every day. And certainly, you know where I came from. I'm an electrician by trade. We figure things out at the kitchen table. I hear that every time I go back to New Jersey each week. Obviously, everybody knows their district a little bit differently, but we hear loud and clear that people want us to move so watching congress move sometimes is a little frustrating believe me i get it and it's even worse so if you're looking from outside back in my district but today i think we're going to set that all back and you're going to see this get done and that's incredible we are going to change the path of america that everybody who wants to go out and participate in this great economy can do so you heard the numbers, half a million new jobs, unemployment down to 4.6%. This is good things happening. We Virginia like was unfortunate, yeah. but I'll tell you what, I just saw the clip of that uh, child going to his dad coming home from the, the service. That says it all. It's about the kids and the next generation. We've got to make it right for them. Representative Donald Norcross, thank you so much for joining us. I, I think a lot of people are hoping that they can get around the kitchen table with uh, their uh, local uh, legislators and actually have their voices be heard. Thank you so much again. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.